Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 27th of September. Jay Shankar talks tough on Khalistan, organized crime in Canada. Pashtun and Sindhi activists highlight Pakistani atrocities in Geneva. And it's raining medals for India at Asian Games as shooters shine. And now for all the details, amid the ongoing India-Canada row, India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar on Tuesday raised concern over the rise in organized crime, violence and extremism linked to secessionist forces in Canada mm -hmm. and said despite India's badgering against these elements, there is inaction by Ottawa due to political reasons. Speaking at an event of the Council on Foreign Relations in New York, Jay Shankar said India is concerned about the threats and attack against Indian missions in Canada by anti-India elements which have become very permissive because of Canada's political environment. He added India on multiple occasions has shared extradition requests for terrorist and organized crime leadership from Canada but Ottawa has failed to respond on them. He said while India has shared specific intelligence against fugitives wanted by India, no specific information has been shared so far by Ottawa in Niger's killing. India is open to look into the killing if Canada shares any information, he said. Uh, Canada actually has seen a lot of organized crime, uh, you know, relating to, you know, the secessionist uh, uh, forces organized crime, violence, extremism, they're all very, very deeply mixed up. So, in fact, we have been, you know, talking about specifics and information. We have actually been badgering the Canadians. Uh, we have given them a lot of uh, information about uh, organized crime leadership, which operates out of Canada. Uh, uh, there are uh, a large number of extradition requests. Uh, there are terrorist leaders. Uh, who have been identified. Uh, so, uh, do understand that there is an environment out there. Relations between India and Canada have turned sour since last week after Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau linked India to the murder of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar. India has called the allegation by Canada as absurd and motivated. Moving on, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday participating in a program marking the completion of 20 years of the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit guaranteed that India will be among the top three economies of the world. Addressing the gathering of industrialists and businessmen, the PM said the Biennial Investors Summit was started to make the state a growth engine of India and after 2014, the aim has been to make India a global growth engine. He highlighted the vibrant Gujarat events have turned into an institution and many states later followed it by organizing their own investment summits. Now we are standing in a mode where Bharat is becoming a global economic powerhouse. Now Bharat is becoming a world और ये मेरी आपको भी गारंटी है आप अपने आंखों के सामने देखेंगे कुछ ही वर्षों में भारत दुनिया की टॉप 3 इकॉनमी में होगा Pakistan's former Prime Minister and PTI party chief Imran Khan has been moved to a new jail with better facilities near capital Islamabad after a court order his lawyer has informed Khan has been detained in a low-key colonial-era prison in Atok district that lacked facilities like attached bathroom and television and made it harder for family and friends to visit or send newspapers, books or food. About a dozen supporters gathered outside the Adiala jail, throwing rose petals and chanting as a convoy of police cars and armoured vehicles arrived on Tuesday night. I हम भागते भागते गए ये पत्तियां को गए मान के करीब हम लेके आए हैं पहले हम गए थे अपना टूल प्लाजा गए थे 
وہاں سے صرف ایک منٹ ہوا وہ خان صاحب نکل آئے پھر ہم الحمد للہ الحمد للہ ہمارا اللہ کا لاکھ لاکھ شکر ہے کہ جس مقصد کے لیے ہم یہ پتیاں لی ہیں ہم نے آ کے یہاں پہ نچھاور کر دی ہیں ہم بنی گالا سے ہیں صرف صرف عمران خان کے استقبال کے لیے آئے ہیں میں پوری فیملی کے سماعت سے امید آئے ہوں Khan was jailed in August in connection with a corruption case for three years and has been barred from politics for five years. His legal team and party had been pleading with several courts to issue orders for Khan to be shifted to Adiala jail, which they argued was more appropriate for the former premier. Moving on, Pashtun and Sindhi activists held massive protests in Geneva on Tuesday to highlight atrocities against ethnic minorities by the Pakistani state and its army. A report. Pashtun activists held massive anti-Pakistan protests outside the UNHRC building in Geneva on Tuesday to highlight rights violations by the Pakistani establishment against ethnic minorities. Members of the Pashtun Tahafuz movement raised slogans against Pakistan army for carrying out genocide of Pashtuns and against its policy of sponsoring terrorism. The activists blamed Pashtuns have been targets of military operations, enforced disappearances and fake encounters by Pakistani security forces. Uh, you know the Pakistani army is committing gross human rights violations like extrajudicial killings, enforced disappearances, arbitrary detentions and torture. But this time we are concentrating on one of the most important point that is the systematic use of torture by Pakistan army. For the last few months they are arresting the activists of PTM and then torturing in custody. Meanwhile, Sindhi activists in their demonstration raised the issue of ethnic cleansing of Hindus, land grabbing and systematic discrimination of Sindhis by Pakistan. They said Pakistan has completely ignored Sindh, where people are suffering from poverty, malnutrition and diseases. They are taking our, li our life because land is our life. They decided they will take 1.3 million acres of land for carpet farming. So, Sindhi people are dying, literally, of hunger, of malnutrition, of poverty. Recently, there were floods that are completely abundant. So it is really worse situation. And as a rogue state, they are not ready to listen. Calling U.S.-Bangladesh relations as cordial, Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momin has said a vested quarter is trying to create bitterness between Dhaka and Washington and spreading false information about Bangladesh, the Dhaka Tribune reported on Wednesday. Momin, who was speaking at a gathering in New York, said Bangladesh follows a balanced foreign policy and there is no dispute in ties with the U.S. as both have similar beliefs on human rights and democracy. He advised the diaspora to remain vigilant about certain sections who are not happy over the developments in Bangladesh. The comments came after a long cold war between Bangladesh and Western countries as they raised concern over crackdown by incumbent Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on dissent and critics of her administration. Washington has also introduced a new visa policy restricting entry for Bangladeshi nationals in US who undermine elections in their home country. A large number of tourists are thronging the sacred ensembles of Hoysalas in India after the temples were made part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site list last week. The Hoysala temple, with unique architectural style, are located in the southern town of Hassan and were built during the 12th and 13th century by the rulers of Hoysala dynasty. This temple is really beautiful. It talks about how um, human life is different from uh, the god life. They have created in different sections also, apart from the actual uh, murti which is there. Uh, it's really beautiful and it's very intricate designs are there. They are very nice to look at. So it's something that people should explore more and understand about the history. The temples are an amalgamation of the traditional North and South Indian style of architecture. They are completely made up of soft soapstone or chloride schist. एक्सपीरियंस तो बढ़िया था जैसे इसका आर्किटेक्ट वगैरह है और अगर हजार साल से इतना अच्छा आर्किटेक्ट अभी रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है वो इससे पहले जो इसका कलर फ्रेम्स और जो भी होगा वो अमेजिंग होगा 
और अभी अगर इसको यूनेस्को डिक्लेयर किया है कुछ भी तो ये ऑटोमेटिकली डेवलप हो जाएगा एंड इट्स रेनिंग मेडल्स फॉर इंडिया एट दी ऑन गोइंग एशियन गेम्स इन चाइना Indian shooter Siftkar Samra on Wednesday scripted history by winning gold in the women's 50 meter rifle three position event at the Asiad. This is India's first individual gold in this games and the fifth top finish overall. Samra shattered the world record in a performance for the ages. It really feels so good and exciting and fun. Great. Yes, and we will celebrate whole India will celebrate. <laughs> it's a proud moment for all of us so yeah. Ashi Chok said the other Indian shooter in the event backed bronze in the same event. So far India has clinched more than 20 medals including 5 gold medals, 7 silvers in shooting, women's cricket and equestrian events. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.